Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of an Aussie farming in the Philippines. Well, it's Friday morning, 24 degrees Celsius, and look at that fog. My God. My God. So it's 5.30 in the morning. So we're going to head into town today. I've got a project to fix up. So I'll we'll show you the start of my day before we get in and do anything. Have a look at this fog. Morning guys, welcome back to another episode of Aussie Funny in the Philippines. Well, it's 24 degrees. Friday morning, 5.30. Have a look at the fog. Absolutely beautiful. It did rain last night, yes. Look at this. Never seen so much fog. Incredible. Alright, let's see how the day goes. Right, 6.30, so I'm just taking chicken and a coffee, grab the dogs, we'll go up the back and have a look at some durian. So Chick told me they got, um, she got three of her goats, three of her girl goats are going this morning, they should be here around 7 o'clock to pick them up. So that's good, that is very good, so, oh, so, oh, oh sorry, a big shit. He's like that, when he gets up off the morning, he'll go for a walk, and he has a dump and a piss straight away. So uh, the free girl, free of the girl goats will be going this morning at uh, seven o'clock. So that's good. That's some good bicky in the in the bicky bin. Could be happy with that. So um, we're going to head into town this morning. Got to head. Well, we were going to head into town this morning, I should say. But um, we'll see what happens now because they say seven thirty, but whether they do, that's the point. Or well, seven o'clock, I think she said. My mistake. Look how foggy it still is, guys. Hey. So it's 23 degrees, 23 degrees on the thermometer. So um, it's a bit nipply, had to get the shirt on. Get, get my nipple shirt on, get all the nipple shirt. Duck, duck. So today we're going to go to the Barangay to talk about that creek. I'm going to give him a couple of days. I said to Chick, right, we'll give him a couple of days and then we'll take photos, we'll take them, get them all printed up and we'll go down the village and we'll hand them out to everyone in the village and say, this is what the creek looks like. Your house is going to get flooded and use peer group pressure. I think that's the only way I can do it now is peer group pressure. So I'll take photos of that and um, hand them out in, uh, as flies in the uh, village. That's what I think. What do you think, guys? They're not listening to us, especially not listening to fucking me, anyone. So um, I think it's peer group pressure time. So we'll go to the bronze guy this morning, give it one last chance. And if everything's still the same on Monday, then um, it's pig root pressure. All right, let's get up the back. Oh. How beautiful it is up here, eh? How beautiful is it? God. I wish I was 20 years younger, I'd build another house up here. Check you out the front house, this is my house up here. Seriously. Oh. Little ones on this tree. Little ones. Very small. We had our regular boy come back yesterday for chickens and uh oh fuck my dog. Oh. So our regular boy come back for the chickens yesterday and he said he wants two nice largey type ones. So um oh. where the fuck are you? Where are you going? Oh. Right, so we had our buyer, a regular buyer, come back, and uh, he's an older guy. Stubbs, come on, come on, dickhead. So uh, he brought, oh God, look at him up here. So uh, he wanted two chickens, so we got them just told him to come back on dusk. So we come back just before six, and uh, we were able to get him fixed up. And we gave him some durian free as well. So like, we always give him a discount, like it was nine. 968 peso it was 968 peso for the two chickens so we just make it 900 for him and um oh and uh we gave him gave him a uh, durian as well and he was quite happy because he likes our chickens because we grain feed them and they free range 
it's um I've quite a good demand for it. Right, so there's three of them here. There's one, two, two on this one, one on the other one. That one's not too bad. It's not a bad size. It'll keep Papa happy. Right, come on, little dog. There's only one. We come up here yesterday afternoon with Chick. There's only one avocado left. One left. And that one, ah. Oh, that one is right up there. Ah. Oh, I see him now. It's right there. Right there. Right there. There's only one left. So that one's going to be a special one on toast with some beautiful lemon and cracked pepper. Come on, stubby dubbies. Come on, stubby dubbies. All right, let's head back, guys. We've got a lot to do before these guys turn up at 7 o'clock to pick up. So I'll come back with a wheelbarrow. Oh. Come on, stubs. P Polly, come on, baby. Right, let's go and check out the pig. Pig for Len. Len, hello. So she is going bloody good at the moment. She's had that um, booster shot from the egg guy. Hey, sweetheart. Hey, my baby. Now, she's on... He said we've got to get her weight down. She's too fat. We overfeed our animals. Well, some people could learn from that, couldn't they? So he said don't feed her more than one and a half kilos a day. So that's um, 500 grams breakfast, lunch and dinner. So um, we dropped it down. I weigh it out every day on the um, scales, each feed. So she's dead on 500 grams. So I think she's, um, she's slimming down. I think she's slimming down. Now we're gonna go into town tomorrow. I've just measured everything up because this here, as you can see, she's chewed the bottom here and put a hole in through here. And she's done one over here as well. There's a little hole as well. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna replace this netting from here across to this one here. I'm gonna replace this. This will be three panels. And all I'm going to do is put the netting over the outside of that and put new timber on the outside. Simple. Now for this here, what I'm gonna do is put um, mesh along the bottom here and that's gonna go all through there. So I need five meters because that's about, I think it's three or four foot tall, as in what tall, wide. So I'll cut that in half so this will go all the way down here, so it's nine metres long. So I'll get four and a half metres of that shit, and that will work out quite well. And what it is, I'll show thy, I'll show thy, the same I put here on the bottom of the, um, of the tractors. So this stuff here. So this, this comes on a roll, and it's pretty solid. It's pretty solid indeed. So I'm gonna get that and put that onto the side. That will work. I know it will work because William knows what he's doing because he's a hobby farmer. Right, the guys are here to buy the goats. She's they're picking up free. Yes, free Glenn. Free. They're picking up free goats today. Free of the girl goats. So um, they're all having a look see. Voila. So it's been a good month on sales all over this month. It's been a good month. So these are the guys who are going to buy the goats. And uh, I'll leave Chick with them because. They all talk jungle talk and I don't know what they're on about. Guys, so Billy went as well. They've taken Billy, Sugar, I think it's Lilith, and Gina, I think. Well, there you go. Thank you very much, Thank guys. You. Thank you. Well, Chick's getting him some feed as well. So there you go, guys. He ended up being good. The only trouble is, I had a deal with Chick, right? I had a deal with Chick and it was when she gets a sale on goats, I get a cart and a beer for all the work that I put in. But I didn't say goats. I said when she has a sale. So she got four of them out now, and that's four, four cartons of beer. Not. So I'll get one carton out of it anyway, so that's not too bad. So a deal's a deal. When you had a goat sale, a goat, goat sale, a deal's a deal. Thank you, guys. Thank you. So that's four, baby. Yeah, I'll go do it. That's four goats? Yeah. So four goats, a carton of beer when she has a sale. But she sold four in one time, I only get one carton of beer. Shit. Oh well. Let's go and open the gate for them. Thanks guys. <laughs> Alright, how good is that? We go on the bad road too. I wouldn't have gone that way. But who cares anyway? So there you go guys. It's been a very good morning for us on the Aussie farm in the Philippines. 
So we're going to finish, we're going to have breakfast now. Then we've got to feed all the bran, get the leaves, and uh, carry on with the day. At the moment I'm working on Big Red, while she had all that. I'll give you a last look before we go. Right, so while Chick was doing the uh, gates with the buyers, so I've done some maintenance work on Big Red, which was quite easy. So the, the front cowling came off on here, and uh, the supports, they're only plastic, they broke down. So what I've done is, um, look at this, this is my washer, nut holder upper. -er. But it's all on again now, it's nice and solid, all the screws are in, done well. And the worst thing was, the exhaust there, these two were loose inside here. So I had to take the muffler off and do them ones up. Because they're those funny bastards, you know, those... Thanks, thanks to Andreas Martin. Thank God for Andreas Martin. And he uh, sent me these one time back. And I'll tell you, it worked perfect. This fitted perfectly into there and ratchet, ratchet, ratchet. Right, so that's all done. I just have to put this on and um, I'm going to have some brekkie as well. Thanks for watching us today, guys. It's been a great morning for us. A really good morning, a profitable morning for Chick Chick. And uh, she'll be able to be happy as a pig in shit. I, I get a bonus when we have a sale as well. I get a bonus. I get a carton of beer. So I'm happy, you know. Don't give up your dream, guys. We're living our dream. Don't give up your dream as well. You can do it. We did it. You can do it. <laughs>